Hello everyone. So today I'm going to discuss with you a very important and very useful feature of Salesforce. So until now we have been knowing that via permission set we can grant additional access to users. But what if we want to reduce or restrict the access to be given to any users? That is something not possible via permission set that, that we have been knowing. But it can be achieved and I will show you with a very proper example here. So I have created a permission set group where I have where I have added two permission sets inside this group. I will just quickly go to those two permission sets here. As you can see, these are the two permission sets added into this group. So whoever, whichever user will have will have this group assigned, will have access to whatever permissions have been given inside these two permission sets. Let me go to one of the permission set here. I have to highlight one access that we will be actually playing around with. So see. This was one of the permission set facility and other forms, which contains read access for this facility object. This facility object for this, we have given read access and a tab access via this permission set. And there are other permissions as well. This is just one permission that I'm highlighting. Okay. Now let's go to any user and assign that permission set group to this user. Now this user will have access to those two permission sets. And one of them have read access to facility object. So we'll just assign this permission set group to this user and log in as with that user to just verify whether he is able to access the facility <coughs> tab and object. Let's log in. This example will clear our understanding of what we are trying to achieve here. So just bear with me. I will search for facility tabs. You can see that uh, with this user, I'm able to access this facility object and the records inside that. Okay. Now let me log out of this user. Go back to my, I will just do some changes in my permission set group so that even if the permission set is assigned to that group, the user will not be able to access that object. Let me show you how you can do this. Let's refresh this page once. And you can see two permission sets are still assigned to this group. Re refresh this page as well. So these two permission sets are already in the group. So there is a feature called muting permission set in group. So whatever permission set are assigned to this group, I can mute few of the permissions from those assignments. I mean, for from those permission sets. Let's name it as by default what is given here. Muting means you are restricting the permissions from the respective permission sets okay let me go to that object for which we want to restrict the access and it was the facility object here it is so as you can see this is deriving these permissions from the permission set so as i showed you previously if there was a facility permission set which was giving access to this tab and read only access i would mute this permission so even though this is getting the permission from the permission sets i will just mute it from here that is i'm restricting so as you can see if i just restrict the read access then automatically all other access will also be revoked this is quite easily understandable so now i am remo removing the access of that facility object let's go back to my permission set group as you can see, there are still two permission sets inside this permission set group. And there is one muting permission set that I've created to restrict the read access of that facility object. See, now I will go to that user, log in once again. And we will see that now we don't have access to that facility object anymore because of that muting. This was the user and we'll verify that the group is still assigned. Yes, it is. Let's log in with this user. And as previously I showed, it was able to access the facility tab records, but now this is no more available. Why? Because we have removed the permission from the muting permission set group. So this is how this the the real use case that i can say is suppose you have a group permission set group let's say here in this example is this one and it is being assigned to lot of users 
and there are some permissions that has to be given to them but one user one specific i mean few few permissions need not to be assigned to them then in that case we can create this muted permission set i hope that was helpful thank you